Greetings, Earthlings. I'm back with another mic review for you guys. So today I'm reviewing this guy, the Blue Bluebird SL. If you are interested in picking up this microphone, it will set you back around 300 bucks. Like always, I'll throw some links down below. And for this review, I have the mic connected directly to the 2i2 second gen. Input gain at around 40%. Won't do any post processing, but I will likely boost it in post. So check the doobly-doo for that information. Now let's talk about what comes in the box. First off, everything comes in this really nice wooden storage box. You're obviously going to get the microphone. You get a shock mount, which does come with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter. You get some documentation and you get a dang sticker. As far as the build quality for $300, I really don't have any complaints about this thing. It has a fairly long all metal body as well as a metal mesh grill. It does have a decent amount of weight to it, but it feels a bit lighter than I was expecting. On the front, you'll find two switches. The first one being a high pass filter, which rolls off frequencies starting at 100 Hertz at around 12 decibels per octave. And the second one is a negative 20 decibel pad in case you're recording really loud sound sources and need to ensure you don't overdrive the mic. As far as the specs, this thing has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, a max SPL of 138 decibels, an impedance of 50 ohms, a sensitivity of approximately 31 decibels, and a phantom power requirement of 48 volts. So far, I've been speaking into the microphone in the flat mode, and this is how it sounds. And now I've initialized the high pass filter, and this is how the microphone is sounding. Now I'm spinning around the microphone to determine what the off axis coloration is, what the actual polar pattern is, and how my voice changes as we move around the microphone's capsule. Now I'm testing how this microphone sounds with a Stedman Pro Screen 101 at about three inches away. Now I'm typing on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm right on top of the microphone testing the proximity effect. About one foot away from the microphone, about two feet away from the microphone, and about four feet away from the microphone. <laughs> Another day, another mic review Another day, another mic from Blue well, this microphone definitely has a unique and very crunchy tone to it. In terms of pros, this thing does have a really nice build quality. It also has the pad and the high pass filter to help you adjust the audio at the sound source. And you get a really nice shock mount. But then in terms of cons, this thing is definitely susceptible to sibilance. It also has a somewhat overdriven or distorted sound in the higher frequencies. And if I shut up for a second, you'll hear a hum which is not apparent on other microphones. So that makes me think there's some kind of grounding issue in the microphone. So as far as the overall sound, on the electric guitar, this thing was just way too harsh. On the acoustic guitar, I was not the biggest fan of it, although if you were recording some aggressive acoustic to add some more energy to a mix, I think it may work in that application. And then on vocals, I was not the biggest fan of this mic for spoken word due to the sibilance issues, as well as the crunchy higher frequencies, which made it sound like you had a very slight overdrive effect running. But for singing, if you did wanna add some crunchiness or aggressiveness to the vocal take, I think this microphone would work really well for that. So would I recommend this microphone? And I'll, I'll put it this way. I think this microphone has a very unique tone to it, and if you're working on a music project where you're looking for that specific tone, then sure, I would recommend it. But if you're looking for a voiceover mic or a really versatile mic that you can throw on anything and get a great sound out of it, I don't think this microphone would cut it, and I'd suggest you look somewhere else. All right, guys, I guess that'll do it for today. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. Want to influence what I review next? Head over to geeksrising.com slash podcast and cast a vote there. Want more videos like this? Logo beneath me. Check out the Discord server. Link in the description. And I will see you all later. Bye. There's a freaking helicopter ruining the take. Whatever.